just the love of the open road that gets trucker Clyde Davis going. Sometimes I get in the spirit, I be rocking and preaching and, and, and praising the Lord. It's his gospel music. A little Aretha Franklin, amazing grace. And when he's passing through the Zooter State, it's smooth sailing. We like coming through Oklahoma. We ain't, we ain't got to deal with them. He's talking about inspectors at way stations. This is video two news shot several years ago at a way station, El Reno. It's one of six older way stations in the state. There are also eight portable scales that inspectors can use, but only one of the older way stations is at a point of entry. Meaning, for example, a truck coming in from western Oklahoma could unload, turn around, and go back without ever seeing any scales. In fact, some way stations are in such bad shape, they've been closed down for years. And the ones that are open haven't been maintained well in decades. Poor lighting prevents some from even being open at night. But getting weighed is the law for truckers. If a truck is overweight, they would wear out the roadway prematurely. Uh, that uh, and so the investment we've made would not uh, have the useful life that it should have. Four years ago, the Oklahoma Corporation Commission started collecting funds for a fix to build eight new way stations at points of entry in the state and one portable station. ODOT says it will cost 100 million dollars for everything. They'll be high tech and efficient. They can weigh more trucks faster. The stations are funded by a fee that wholesalers pay for gas, charging them a penny per gallon. But that caps out at $500,000 a month. And ODOT says it's not enough. The funding commitment that's put and put forth today is not going to fund all nine locations. In fact, the fund caps out at $51 million. That's just half of the money needed for all of the way stations. ODOT says they've been telling lawmakers for years that they need more money. This session, one lawmaker claimed he had a fix. We're going to appropriate $500,000 per month. But that's how much is already appropriated. So instead, what Guy Lieben's bill actually does is change some wording so that it guarantees in writing that half a million monthly goes to waste stations and doesn't go somewhere else. Still, no new money has been added. And that means getting all nine way stations. Which will take a while. As for funding way stations further down the road. Anything possible. But let's do one, just one step at a time. This is such a step in the right direction that, you know, we, we'll see how it works. Some progress is being made. This new way station near the Kansas border off of I-35 just opened up at the end of April. Another one near the Texas border off of I-40 is set to open in a couple of months. But there are only two of the eight new permanent way stations and one new portable unit the state has planned to add. And the jury is still out on whether the existing older way stations will stay open. Still, until more are in place, there's always the concern about protecting our investment. Something Davis says can't be blamed on the truckers. Most truckers, they wouldn't really take uh, uh, heavy, heavy load because they know they know they're going to get stopped if they go through a way station. But right now, there are just seven way stations in Oklahoma in which that can happen. Marla Carter, 2 News Works for you.